What's up, Kingdom family? Welcome back to the Keys to the Kingdom, where we drop all the keys to the kingdom. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, okay? Join the Royal family if you are new. And shout out to my faithful fam. I have to run through this video because this is part two of the Messiah miracle, okay? I'm giving you your instructions to your fast. You have to go watch part one. I'm going to attach it in my description box below so that you can just click on it for your convenience because you're not going to understand this video if you don't watch part one. All right, family, you will know if you're being called to, called to this seven day fast where my video stopped in the previous video was um me speaking about how god exposes me to the things that he wants to cleanse and free from my bloodline first basically it is a deliverance fast um you are going to be passing over to your miracle starting february 1st to the 7th you have to understand the details from the first video to get these um on how we're going to conclude right now okay but basically i was saying how god had to free me from trauma issues low self-esteem not knowing my purpose rejection issues alcohol and drug abuse like this is these were the things on my bloodline not necessarily me right um abuse anger issues homosexuality um people who um idolatry it was just a whole bunch of things right and so god is basically going to be taking us out of bondage he's going to be bringing you out of captivity during this fast and this fast is for the people who are also called to be cycle breakers you need to know that the sin is bigger than you the sin has a deeper rooted connection to your ancestors and that's why it is still attacking you that's why it's still it is still plaguing you but god says he's going to free you and this is going to be the last of it okay um you will be a new person all right family you will be out of captivity for good you're going to be moving into the land of the living so you will have a new body a new name a new land a new heart a new reputation um it will be a full circle moment as i mentioned earlier your messiah miracle moment this will be a sacred time between you and the father your freedom will bless generations to come after you honor god in every season every year your day-to-day when he delivers you okay um exodus 13 15 reads chapter 13 verse 15 reads verse 5 excuse me reads he is delivering you into your promised land of providing you with um the land that flows with milk and honey okay family so god's grace alone is what is going to free you it is the abraham covenant as well you are going to be delivered officially from the beast and the possession um that egypt had you under okay the hand of the enemy right god's strong hand is coming through and pulling you up right you will experience heaven on earth um you will believe in the god of israel you will have provision god is rescuing you right this is the holy redemption especially for the firstborn okay you will be spared from the plague that is about to uh, come on this earth family um to those who are you know still going to be living in um sin or just choosing to follow behind the enemy you have to choose god as your god right you are worthy okay you are going to be redeemed by the blood you are going to have a sharp mind this is going to be a time of thanksgiving again in supplication um it is a rich word right it's going to be a rich word that you're going to be receiving from the lord as you're dwelling in his presence there is um what does it say never forget i don't know how to read my own hand right never forget what god freed you from when you pass over into this land okay never stop rejoicing hallelujah um john 5 8 is the scripture so we're in exodus read exodus you can start from exodus 12 but you can also read the whole exodus uh book okay but um and also john chapter 5 verse 8 where uh, God went to heal the man, the paraplegic man, and by the pool. And so the pool was called um, Bethesda. And Bethesda, the name, that means house of mercy. So God has already forgiven you for your sin. When are you going to forgive yourself, right? And so this fast, he's going to be helping you renew all of those things, right? Um, for the final time, right? You may have felt like you've been healing in cycles, but this is going to really be it, okay? And so God it's a cross reference so he had me in exodus talking to me about the passover but then he took me to john and as a cross reference through um stephen fertig's message the pastor he confirmed his word and saying that 
people tried to heal this man or some people didn't try. So that goes for you. You have tried to heal yourself. You have tried and other people have tried. You have tried to pour yourself out to other people. It has not worked, right? But when God showed up, God told that man to pick up your bed and walk. That man just picked up his mat and walked, okay? And it's when God comes, that is when a miracle happens. It's like the wedding, right? When God came, that is when a miracle was able to happen. Again, God parting the Red Sea, this is a miracle moment that is about to happen in your life for those who are called to this fast, okay? So some songs to uh, listen to as you're on this fast that God has been putting in my spirit is This Week um, by Anthony Brown, Mary Song by Tasha Cobbs, Jesus Saves by Tasha Cobbs, Miracle Worker, Miracle what does it say? Waymaker. <laughs> I, I wrote the other part of the song. But anyway, Waymaker by any person who sings it because um, a ton of them have different versions on there. Big by Pastor Mike. I love that. Open the windows of heaven. Pour me out a blessing. That's our song. Okay, Something Has to Break by Kiara Shared. Shared? Shared? And then more than anything by Anita, okay, my loves? So that should be your playlist during this fast, okay? No circular music, secular music. Do not listen to any of that outside stuff. Um, God really wants you to be in consecration, sanctification with him. No distractions, okay? The tabernacle in the secret place, just you and him. You will be eating of the blood. And um, oh, that's what I have to tell you, family. So the consumption for this week, for me, I'm just doing water and green smoothies because that's what I like to do, okay? I like to be fully, fully, fully cleansed and just like focused and concentrated on God. But if you don't want to be as adventurous as I am, okay, you can do water, um, one solid meal, smoothies, intermittent fasting, maybe don't eat till 12 and then you uh, stop your last meal at between 7 and 6 and 7 p.m. It's up to you. But the goal is to um, also have no leaven in your bread so unleavened bread do not eat any leavened bread anything that has yeast in it that makes it rise you just don't eat that okay you have to go to the store really quickly because we're starting this fast on the first february 1st um get you some grape juice if you don't have it already get you some communion <laughs> juice okay and get you some unleavened bread all right family so that you can partake in consuming god's body and his blood you're going to be redeemed by the blood that is what the messiah miracle fast is for okay god is coming to have an encounter with you it will be supernatural he is freeing you out of bondage and you are going to be redeemed by the blood especially if you are a firstborn you are passing over and you would know because god should have already been ministering to your spirit that he wants you to fast and this is the fast instructions that he is leading you to all right family youtube done played me i tried to go live with y'all twice it didn't work i tried to get these videos out it cut off the first time somebody's going to be freed from this fast okay so take it very seriously seriously i love y'all be blessed don't forget to be a blessing visit me at infinitelyheal.com for any counseling and healing services that dr g offers i will meet you over there i cannot wait to see our results and just the manifestation of god's strong hand moving in our lives and delivering us and freeing us from bondage um for good okay i'll see y'all in the promised land at passover and i'm gonna be uploading still so don't worry but make sure this is a time between you and god okay very seriously i love y'all be blessed Ask me any questions in the comments if you have any questions about these. You shouldn't, though. I think I was very clear, okay? My two pages is very clear, okay? <laughs> I love y'all. <you. laughs>